the really first real shot in the film is Tom Landry in silhouette with his hat. And you know it's Tom Landry. It knocks you out from the minute you see it. It is so special. When you see that image, I don't think you can overstate the success and the impact of Bob Ryan constructing this iconography and this idea of them being America's team. The Cowboys could not have become America's team without Landry's image. His man-in-the-hat persona tapped into the myth of the Cowboy, and the coach's constant portrayal in Western iconography cast a long shadow. The profile is unmistakable. The face belongs carved on Mount Rushmore. There are a lot of similarities of the Western hero to Landry. He evoked the Wild West in what he was. For what they call the shotgun. Five yards back and Roger can see it all. They go for the shotgun. Roger looks left, fires it out there, crossed by Tony Hill. Touchdown, Cowboys! He projected the image of a cowboy. Tom Landry had a, a John Wayne kind of uh, appeal. You know me, I'm one of the best known cowboys in Texas. But a lot of people don't recognize me in a cowboy hat. When he did that American Express commercial with the cowboy stuff on, I'm surprised he didn't take that outfit and wear it on the sideline for a game. Wow. Because you never know when you're going to be surrounded by Redskins. Every generation's told to be more willing to express their emotions and be open about how they feel. Tom Landry was masculine, but not demonstrative. He was a stoic person. The opposite of how society and culture has gone. The hole in Texas Stadium is not as big as the hole in any theory that attempts to explain Tom Landry the most perplexing personality in the National Football League. No one has penetrated the gunfighter stare, the grim face that makes him look like a regional director of the FBI. Somebody asked me, you ever see Coach Landry smile? And I said, no, but I've only been here nine years. Landry was the cigarette-less Marlboro man. What is there about that that you don't want to emulate in the 70s? And politicians understood that. And I am very proud to say that Wednesday, Tom Landry announced his personal support for my campaign. Tom Landry made people think that there really could be, once again, excellence in America based upon faith and principles and toughness. That's the way I think America's always liked to see itself. And Tom Landry was what they wanted to see in the mirror. I don't know if Tom has campaigned or not yet. People are going to look back on his career as something being very unique. You don't get a America's team image by one thing. It's a combination of a lot of different things. Most important, you had Landry, the symbol of America. Being the face of America's team made Landry a target. And on a November night in 1986, the man in the hat proved his John Wayne image was no facade. We heard that there was some kind of threat. The authorities weren't taking any chances, and so they took him off the field. We would have to assume some sort of threat in regard to Landry. As we start the fourth period, it would be the first time in the history of the Cowboys that Landry has not been on the sideline. The authorities gave him the, the option of spending the rest of the game in the locker room or they could give him this bulletproof vest and he could go back out there. Seconds ago, Tom Landry emerged from the Dallas locker room. He was a tough man. You had to come with a little more than a threat to scare Tom Landry. As we suspected, that white underpiece would be some sort of protective vest. There's no way in the world he was going to not show up for the game. They made him wear the bulletproof vest. You wouldn't suspect any different from Tom Landry, one of the youngest bomber pilots in World War II, flew over 30 missions. Tom Landry actually got shot down and crash-landed a plane. 
he didn't have a lot of fear. He was more concerned about someone around him who might get hit than himself. Tom, you're amazingly calm for somebody who just got their life threatened. I don't think much about those things, really. Uh, I mean, it's just something we have in our society today. And it was uh, part of the bizarre circus of traveling with America's team.